Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. Now, I'm hoping everyone's enjoying their Unreal Engine 5.4. But if you're not, let me show you what's coming in 5.5. Now, I posted this last week on social media, but today we're going to be taking a look at Nanite Skeletal Mesh in Unreal Engine 5.5. Now, that being said, this is beta Unreal Engine and very experimental Nanite Skeletal Mesh feature, so it could potentially change. Now, that said, I know people call me a liar sometimes whenever I'm releasing videos on unreleased Unreal Engine 5 videos. So to prove that this is 5.5, I'll go to help about Unreal Editor, and you're going to see it is 5.5. Now, to enable this feature, you are going to need a console variable that we have to put in the config file, similar to the tessellation video. I'm going to go to my project folder right here and go to the default engine, and that's going to open up the Word doc. Now, the console variable you're going to want is skin meshes equals 1. All right, so I went ahead and did that. And if you haven't done so, restart your project because it's not going to work if you have your project open. So I have my project here. And just to double check, I will put that in my console command right here, r.nanite allow. And as you can see, pretty much all the same thing with skin meshes, plan meshes, tessellation. I'm going to go with skin meshes, press enter. Go to output log, and you're going to see now that it is equal to 1. So we are good to go. So that's enabled and good to go. And what I'm going to do is bring back our Space Marine. I mean, this guy, it's been about two and a half years since I made the Static Mesh Nanite video for the very first time. So it's only right for me to bring this guy out. Big shout out to Michael Wershim. I screwed up that name. Something's funky going on with my mouse, so I'm sorry about that. All right, so here's our Space Marine, and I will double-click the Space Marine so you can kind of see what it looks like up close. Now, this is 130,000 triangles, all right, 72K vertices, so it's not like low poly. I mean, this is a pretty darn good quality skeletal mesh, all right? And to enable Nanite, all we have to do is go to Asset Details, like always, and type in Nan. And here, I'm going to click on Enable, Save, Close. And if I go to Lit, Nanite Visualization Triangles, we now have a nanited skeletal mesh. Very exciting. And what I'll do is I'll just put in some kind of animation. Should have some animation in here. I'll just go like Idle, maybe. So you can kind of see it animating. And I'll just simulate. And as you can see, we have an animating nanite skeletal mesh. How freaking cool is this? Look at that. That is sick. Very, very exciting. That's wickedly cool. All right, so let me go ahead and go. All right, so I'll stop this because I want to do some tests here with, you know, how many we can get away with. Now, I am running this on a laptop right now. I mean, to be honest, I don't even know how this is going to perform. This is my first time, like, doing this experiment. But I don't know. I'm, I'm just curious. I know a lot of people are kind of curious on how this is going to work out. All right, so I just went ahead and duplicated some of this. Now, again, I'm on a laptop right now. So, you know, I can't really do a bunch of them. And what I'll do is I'll press play here, press F11. So yeah, that's that's pretty insane. That now we have nanite. We have nanite skeletal mesh. You know, let that sink in. I mean, this is pretty crazy. Look, look at this. All of them are kind of like animating. And I'm also recording in the same laptop. So this is crazy because I can imagine like a big battle. I mean, obviously, I don't, I don't know if you're going to do this with like your video game. Probably not smart. But maybe in the future, when it's a little bit more performant, but this, this is crazy. I mean, again, this is, honestly, this is pretty impressive considering this is extremely, extremely experimental that we're able to do this. 
That's just so freaking cool, dude. Look at that. They're all like ready to go. But but yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I wanted to showcase the Nanite Skeletal Mesh that's coming in Unreal Engine 5.5, hopefully. That being said, let me know in the comments below what y'all think about this feature here. I'm pretty stoked about this because this looks like a lot of fun. Till then, I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.